So it's Sunday morning and I am sitting in the parking lot of our church while my girls are in Sunday school and Lando, who is the pastor, is not actually here. He's out on a youth retreat with some kids. Um, and so this might seem like a really odd time to be uh, getting my um, weekly video done, but it's kind of the time that I had. So it's been a little crazy the last three weeks. Um, my husband has been had two weekends, holiday weekends, so kids have off from school for four-day weekends um, that just also happened to be um, a wedding and a funeral, um, as well as his Sunday service, so he's needing to get three sermons ready. Um, and so that pretty much makes me a single parent all week so he can get ready and all weekend so he can carry all of that out. Um, thrown in the middle, he's been gone at a um, weekend retreat with some middle schoolers this week. So I know uh, my single parenting just continues after this um, because next weekend is wedding, funeral, and service. So, you know, when times like this, is, it may not be normal for you, um, but what is normal probably for you is the holidays and they just get busy and the weeks get so full and the time goes by and you're like, oh my gosh, I just don't have time for my business. You know, I'll pick it up when we get past this or when we get past that. But if there's one thing I've learned being a pastor's wife, there's no getting past anything um, because there's always something else that comes up too. And so you have to learn how to survive in the meantime. And so, you know, I, um, it's easy to let your business slide, but I know that my business is a priority for me because it allows me to live a lifestyle that I love. It allows me to be, um, flexible so that, um, you know, when Lando needs to be gone, I am the one that can step up. Um, when my kids are homesick or when they need to go to an activity, um, I'm the one that can do that. When my friend's kids need to be picked up from daycare and taken to dance class, I'm the one that can do that. That's a lifestyle that I'm choosing and I want. And so this business allows me to do that. So it is still really important for me to find the time to work it, even though it might get a little crazy. And so here I am in a church parking lot. And the blessing is it's really nice outside, so I can do this. Um, but what is your busy? You know, everybody's got their busy. Um, and so it's what is your busy and what is your priority with your business? So my tip for you this week is um, to create a mastermind session. And this is something that would happen once a week and probably will involve your spouse or any significant people that you um, spend your life with on a weekly basis. Um, so Lando and I try to do these on Sundays. Um, and granted, they don't always happen. And sometimes they happen at random parts in the week. But it's always my goal on Sunday that we talk through the week of who needs to be where when um, you know juggling the the kids and you know who's gonna be in charge um, also looking at a meal plan trying to figure out okay what nights are we home and actually what time do we eat on different nights we try to have family dinners um, but sometimes those are at four o'clock and sometimes they're at six o'clock just depending on our activity schedule that day um, so math, mapping out our meal plan and our schedule. And then that also allows me to figure out where are the holes where I um, am going to be able to work. And then I decide what am I going to do in that time. Um, you know, it's really easy to let that time get sucked away and I'll clean up my desk um, and, you know, organize a shelf and make everything look pretty. Um, but as we talked about in our time management Zoom, you really have to outline all of the different things that take up your time and to decide what are you going to dump, defer, delegate um, or make your priority and so that having that car that blocks of time carved out allows me to figure out okay what realistically can I fit in that amount of time and I start first and foremost with my current bookings my new team members um, and future bookings and future team members because that is what's going to drive my business forward everything else my emails my Facebook posting all that stuff that comes second once I get through um, the bare bones of my business and what keeps it alive and thriving. So hope you took away a little bit of a time management strategy. Um, love to hear about your mastermind session and I will tell you it takes practice to get into these and make them a habit but once you do it really starts to become fun. If anybody needs a good meal planning sheet I have one that I use I could post that. Um, my uh, my calendars that I use are going to be in our Dropbox and I just realized I might not have done that after the team Zoom um, but they'll be in the Dropbox and I'll put them up on the Dare to Dream Facebook page too. So um, you know if you need some time management coaching, definitely give me a call. We'll set up a time to chat. Um, but have a great week, guys. It's going to be amazing. And there's new improvements happening every day with our system. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas, just crazy. So it's a fun, exciting time. So enjoy your week and we'll see you next week.